How you doing guys? This is a wee story I'd like to share with you about practicing the Buddhist antidotes is what they call it. Antidotes are like uh, when you're hit with negative situations just to try and like balance them out with like positive action or positive thoughts or you like you know if someone's like bad to you or something you should try and practice altruism. Um, you know, if you're like sort of feeling a bit anxiety, just time to practice meditation, you know, stuff like that there. But um, I'm going to show you something here. About two years ago, um, I was hit with something from my past, my dark past, came back to haunt me. And uh, it really put my fucking head away, to be honest with you. And I'm not going to lie, I wanted to commit revenge. So I did. I wanted to go and get my own back on people for what they'd done to me. And uh, I played in my head for days and days. And then I went, fuck it, you know, I'm on this Buddhist path. It's time to like man up and practice what I'm learning and practice what I'm preaching. So what I did was, is I went to the garden center and I bought eight fruit trees to start off with. One, two, there were pear trees, three, four, these were four pear trees, five, six, seven, one of them must have been missing, eight, right? So I wanted to go and get these people and I played in my mind so bad, but I just, then I went and bought these here trees, just trying to turn the negative and they're positive. And uh, I did feel good. They coming out, me and me body just came out. And then I should have been close to And it's raining here now, just looking at these. Um, and I just like connected to nature on my own and just planted these here trees. And uh, I did feel better after it. <laughs> I sort of like, there was the thoughts of revenge were out of my head, thoughts of anger was out of my head. Um, I actually sort of like became more understanding of the situation and stuff. And I don't know, it's just. And then what happened after that door was, I just started adding to this orchard. Um, for that year, this was like two years ago, two winters ago. And I have, these are all fruit trees. We must have like a. Uh, there, there. I don't see too much fruit on them this year, like. But this is in a bit of a wild part where we just wild planted them. That's an apple tree, that's an apple tree. These ones are cherry trees I've planted. That's another apple tree, another apple tree. And they basically go away over here as well. I'll bring you over to this here a wee bit. Um, but I think there's about 60 fruit trees in here. And this orchard was created from a negative situation, turned into a positive. And uh, it just, I guess there's another one here. There's actually a memorial tree. So, these are more fruit trees here. Um, so as I was saying, like this orchard was actually created out of a negative situation which I turned into a positive, and look at the outcome. Whereas, if I had went back and committed revenge there, fuck knows what would have happened. I seen in my past, whenever I was about 21, somebody owed me 200 pounds, and instead of just letting it go and taking it on the chin, and thinking, well, it was my fault for giving them the stuff, and letting them pay me next week, that's, and, and loads of people would strap out stuff whenever they're selling dodgy goods and say, I oh, pay me next week. Then whenever they don't pay them next week, you're round their door looking at them. You're wanting to hit them and beat them up and stuff and get your money back. But realistically, you know, if you give someone the stuff on credit and it's a bad you and they don't pay you, you got to just put it down to bad experience and that you made a mistake judging being a bad judge of character. You know, I learned that there years ago. Um, because for that, dirt, going back to the story of the £200 that somebody owed me, it nearly caused me 
getting going to jail over the two hundred pounds. And every time we seen each other on the street, there was fist fights between the two of us for two hundred quid. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if I had to just let it go, drew the line, told him to keep it, um, life would have been a bit easier, you know. But we just let our egos get the better of us with things like that. There. Um, so after that door. I learned quickly whenever I was younger, I was only about 21, maybe 20, 21, probably full of steroids and all the time, Mr. Angry Head. Um, but I learned very quickly that going down chasing, getting revenge is not worth it. It's really, really not worth it at all. I mean, you might have a bit of satisfaction for a moment, but then the paranoia comes after it. Because once you commit revenge back, they're coming after you and it becomes tit for tat. And it just keeps on going on. So what I actually did right here was instead of committing revenge, I took my energy and I spent money and I went and bought trees. And now I have another orchard. Isn't that fucking amazing? You know? Hope all that there makes sense to you guys. Um, I've learned a lot in life. I've learned a lot about myself and my own emotions and how we dig our own holes and stuff and another saying that always stuck in my head was uh, Lao Tzu says before thinking of committing revenge dig two graves that couldn't be any more truer dig two graves because you're both going fucking in them but once you start revenge it's unbelievable where see if you just like sort of show them compassion back um, <laughs> it pisses them off more <laughs> Is after that though with a two hundred pound that nearly could have ruined my life and went to jail over, or somebody could have got seriously, seriously hurt over for two hundred pounds. And um, after that, whenever I give people stuff on credit and they didn't pay me, see if I seen them in the street, I just said to them, buy your mum a nice big bunch of flowers and tell them it's on me. Okay, it's money well spent because I don't have you coming around to my door looking stuff anymore. Money's a tool sometimes, you know what I mean? And it's a great tool to get people out of your lives. Do you know, that's the way I looked at money afterwards. I was just never so stupid to give anybody credit where it would have caused problems in my life if they didn't pay. It was like going to the bookies for me then. It was a calculated situation where I would only give credit to them and with what I could afford to lose and if they didn't come and pay me back that's okay they can keep it do you know what I mean so anyhow there we go keep on planting and chanting isn't that right wee bodyguard peace and love guys